Hi guys, Dave Wilson here again and in this series of videos we're going to show you some quick tricks on how to look after your Pepe tools rolling mill. Number one, how to clean and polish it. So, follow me. This is my rolling mill, uh, it's about four years old I think I've had this and as you can see it looks like new. So at the end of every day, a couple of things I do, I clean it and polish it. So first of all, if there's any dust or particles, any debris around, if you've got a dusty workshop, just clean it off with a dry paint brush. And if you have any murks or anything that you need to wipe off it, use a paper towel. Never use a damp cloth because you don't want any moisture or liquid on it. To polish it, really simple. You need a cloth. Now this is an old polishing cloth, thick cotton. Uh, you ideally want something cotton that's fairly strong. Um, a piece of old denim like from Pearl Jeans, really cool. Fold it up until it's about the width of your rollers. Now you also need a piece of dowel. So this is, ah, what's that, half an inch, an inch, doesn't really matter, but the same length as your rollers. So pop that into your cloth, open up your rollers and just feed the cloth through and just give it a couple of turns. Mine's electric so I'm just going to just feed that in. There we go. And then you want to just close down your rollers just a little bit just so that there's a bit of contact there you don't want it too hard but just so that it's nicely grit the next thing that you need is some of this metal polish this is like a cream comes in a metal tube a bit like toothpaste um, this is one of the popular brands here in the uk but i have seen other versions of this with different names but this is a metal polish that is designed for polishing chrome or motorcycles, car fenders, bumper bars, anything like that. So I just got this from my local auto parts store and um, failing that you can get it online and like I said there will be other brands that are the same thing but it's a, a metal chrome polish. So all we do really easy just squirt a line across the top roller there, squirt some across the bottom roller uh, this is running out actually, you can see how much I use it. And get it all the way across. Be generous with it. And then with your finger, just wipe it all the way across both rollers. That's it, get it all the way across, rub it in. And then just give it several turns until they look clean. Now in my case it's electric, so I'll just switch it on. And what happens is, as the rollers move, you'll see all the polish will build up on the edge of the cloth there. And so as the rollers are turning round, it starts to clean and polish them. Um, if you're doing this by hand, you know, five or six turns, that's all you need. You don't need to work at it for hours. Just a quick couple of minutes at the end of the day, keep it all nice and clean. And this polish helps to clean it, remove roughs and any debris on it. And it also gives it a protective coating. Um, when you've done a couple of turns, just stop. And then you can just spread the polish round more or add a little bit more just on your finger. Just rub it in. If there's any particular spots on your mill, you can just give it a bit of a rub there. And then again, just a few more turns. Forward direction, of course, because if you do it in the opposite direction, it'll just push your, your cloth out. So just nice and slowly, just polish it round. Um, I leave this for about 10 minutes, but if you're doing it by hand, like I said, just a few turns until it looks clean. And then when you're happy with that, just stop. Um, open your rollers up a little bit, and then just pop it in reverse. And that'll take out your cloth. 
Now, if you've got a combination roller that's got grooves, then it's important that you clean these grooves and keep these clean. So, great little trick here. Um, piece of string, uh, ideally something cotton, uh, maybe an old shoelace or bootlace, something like that. Uh, if I just reach over, just thread it through. And then wrap it round. And then you can use that to work your way along and clean all the rolls and again you know it, it might seem like a lot of work but it's only a second and then when you've done that top and bottom just rotate it round a little bit and then move along and just do the other side and that is a really really great way to polish all the grooves another quick tip is little piece of sponge, this is a piece of a kitchen sponge, just pop it in between the rollers uh, you want them fairly close together and just hold on to it while you rotate the rolls a couple of times and again that will help to clean any excess polish out of the grooves really good little tip that, just be careful though as you're winding, you know obviously don't get your fingers stuck in the way when you've finished everything, just a quick wipe down, make sure there's no excess polish anywhere and that all surfaces of the rolls are coated and that will help to protect them from corrosion and tarnish in the future. I would recommend doing this at the end of the day or if I've been doing a lot of heavy rolling work on it, I'd clean it when I've finished and then it's clean, fresh and it's protected and it's ready to go next time. Check out the rest of the series for lots more tips on how to look after your rolling mill, how to maintain it and set it and configure it. I've been Dave Wilson, thanks for watching and I'll see you real soon on the next video. Bye for now.